How pathetic can some people be? I, uh, I recently bought a pair of cargo pants. They got all the pockets down the leg. Then one day I'm walking down the street and I said to myself, Daniel, this is not how your father raised you. You're wasting space. So I started to collect change from that day forward. Yeah, I have a five-gallon jar at my house I like to fill with change. I don't stop till I reach the tip top and the little bell goes off and I know cargo pant day is here at last. <laughs> yeah, and I put the cargo pants on with a belt extra tight because I don't want to have an embarrassing situation on such a great day. And I fill up all the pockets with the change and then I get a car alarm. Not a car alarm with a car, just the car alarm. And I hold it to my chest really closely. And then I go walk around the streets of Manhattan and I wait for the first homeless person to come up to me and say, hey, you got any spare change? And I set the car alarm off. Wee, 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 you hit the jackpot, mofo. <laughs> And then I start throwing all the change, and that hurts, but he doesn't care because he won. So he's jumping up and down. I won, I won, call the pit boss. And I'm like, calm down, Smelly, I don't have to. It's under $400. And that's how Oktoberfest started. <laughs> yes. Dumbass of the day. 93.3 KZOZ. Okay, uh, we were just now posting this video to our social uh, media outlets, Twitter. Facebook, Jeff and Jeremy, KZOZ. Uh, this is pretty insane. Okay, so uh, would-be carjacker got drugged down the street by a defiant SUV uh, driver. This happened in my old hood of East Hill, Kent, Washington. Uh, the driver refused to give up his vehicle, uh, leaving the criminal lying injured in the street in just his underwear. The video uh, that you can see over on our Facebook page shows... Uh, this happened on Friday night in Kent. The thug holding onto the handle of the driver's door, and after a few seconds, his shorts start slipping down <laughs> his waist because he's dumb and he's wearing he's not wearing the belt. Right. He's, he's got his pants yeah. hanging around his butt. And it's this new thing, you know, pants on the ground. I don't know if it's Walking new. all around with your I, pants on the ground. I hope it's old. I hope it's a new thing that's old. You know, like, like it's no, one of those things. Still like they have the droopy drawls. They're still doing it? Still doing it. Uh, maybe it's just the crowds I run with. I, I just I just have eliminated those people from my life, those people that are dumb enough not to put on a belt. Or wear pants that fit you properly, not that are four sizes too big. At one point, the driver stops the SUV, prompting the thief to stand up and attempt to pull on the handle. Uh, then the driver takes off. He's like, It's oh, really funny. I'm you, watching the video. You, you haven't got enough? All right. I'm going to go ahead and take off again. Watching the video, and it's a belt commercial. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what, the, the video right before The commercial it? right before the video. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that. Oh, he was dragging the guy for a while. All right. Oh, my God! He was still holding on. Eventually, he was arrested and taken to the hospital for treatment. Police uh, spokesman told the local TV news station in Seattle that the suspect had reportedly punched other cars and pulled on door handles in earlier failed carjacking attempts. Um, like I said, you can go see the video over on... Yeah, the, the uh, guy uh, is uh, punching the driver trying to steal his car. Good for him yeah. for dragging that SOB. I would have driven him right into a fire hydrant. What do you do if you see all this take place? Uh, you, you roll video like whoever this person <laughs> is. And you turn it in. <laughs> and you maybe make some money. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's just getting dragged. That's so funny. I don't know why he stopped. Because oh his pants gosh. are falling off. Yeah, his pants are falling off. Well, no, the, no, the car stopped. Keep... So he's dragging yeah, him and then the car stopped. He started to feel bad for the guy, I think. He yeah. started to feel bad for the guy because he was dragging him on. And then the guy's tried to get in the car again. And you're like, all right, you haven't had right, enough. Let's go Here for another go. ride. Round two. <laughs> what a DS. Oh, my gosh. DS meaning dip. And then you can fill in the rest. Well, I think everybody knows that. No, I don't That's think what everybody DS does stands know. for. I don't think everybody does know the DS or dumb. It's either dumb ass or dip ass. You you pick your pleasure. Mm. But either way, it's a choose your own adventure it's abbreviation. A, yeah, I like those. Yeah, sure, yeah. Those are my favorite. Thank you, Jeremy. Congratulations, DS. You're Jeff and Jeremy's dumbass of the day. <laughs> it's Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. 3.3. Cash out my blood's pumping. I'm watching this jackass try to steal multiple cars, not just one. Yeah, but, no. And he just opens doors and starts beating the He's hell out crazy. of whoever's in the seat. Doesn't even ask them to get out. I mean, He's he just drugs. starts beating on them. He's got to be on drugs or something. I Gosh, mean, it's, it's just it's like, insane. man, where's your crowbar when you need it? Well, and where's your wherewithal if you're going to go on that kind of a carjacking spree? Like, if you're going to go all rogue and, like, you know, uh, 
Texas Cage match? Or what was the match with Battle Royale? If you're going to go all Battle Royale on the carjacking, don't you want to make sure you make the right wardrobe choices <laughs> yeah. so you don't have I a wardrobe malfunction? understand anything that this guy's doing. I don't understand how these people, how he got into their cars. I mean, uh, you know, most of these are newer cars. I know that as soon as I put my car in drive, the door's locked. The door's locked automatically. Yeah, yeah. So they had to mm -hmm. unlock the doors to let the guy in. Well, not all cars do that. Mm -hmm. And in my car, I know that there's a a set. Like, so if I don't want my car doors to lock, you I can, can change the setting. Program it, yeah, to where it, 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 they won't lock. So maybe a lot of people don't like, especially if you live in kind of a, you know, a, an area in which you don't have to worry about this kind of stuff. You don't have to worry about carjackers coming up to you while you're driving down the road. Because, I mean, in the olden days, we didn't have to, we didn't think about locking our doors while driving down the road because who would be brazen enough to try to take you away from the wheel and steal your car? But this now, guy, you know, guns and knives right. and things like that, he tries to they get make it a, very easy. He tries to get like a white Ford Focus, and the guy's girlfriend jumps out of the passenger seat, runs around, and starts kicking him, and so he runs away. That's when he gets to the SUV that you see in the video that's dragging him, and then they said after that he tried to steal a cab. Mm -hmm. It's a crazy guy. I mean, obviously, there's some kind of drugs here. Um, we're asking you a question this morning. Uh, do you lock your car doors when you're driving around town, when you're driving around town? So not, obviously, you probably lock your car doors when you park your car, but when you're driving, do you lock your car doors? Or maybe uh, your car doors lock automatically, like like Jeremy uh, said they, they do. And if that's the case, you don't even have to bother uh, engaging in this conversation. But I want to talk to people that are consciously making an effort to lock their car door. This is something my grandma did before carjacking was cool. Yeah, you get in the car she and you always, lock the door. She would always make sure I locked my car door. And I'd be like, why? We're driving down the road, Grandma. And one time, there was a guy who came up to her car. And she, he was walking across the crosswalk at a at a stop sign, uh, at a stoplight. And she let him go. You know, it was his turn to go across the crosswalk. He started walking around across the crosswalk. Doo -doo 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 -doo, and then made a quick move towards my grandma's door. She was watching him because he looked suspect, and she locked her car door at the same time that he was trying to open. And did she flip him the bird? <laughs> she ran the red light, she said. F you. That's an F you. You DS. I don't, I'll never understand the carjacking. I mean, you have to be pretty ballsy. And then it's stupid. Because, well, I mean, it's to, instantly it's going to be told that the car is stolen. I, I mean, love the fact that uh, we have this culture, though, that we live in the surveillance now. <laughs> because this guy, like, what's he going to do when he goes to court? Yeah, I, I didn't try to steal five cars. Yeah, that wasn't me. It could have been anybody in a blue shirt and underwear. <laughs> 93.3 KZOZ rocks Jeff and Jeremy in the morning.